BP says the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico has cost the company $350 million so far. That news sent shares of BP down by about 1% Monday, as most other shares were rising. BP has lost roughly $30 billion in market value since its deep water drilling rig caught fire and sank nearly three weeks ago and efforts to plug the leaks are not going well. Hearings on the disaster are set to begin in Washington on Tuesday. Now we've all seen the massive oil slick in the Gulf, but what's actually going on on the seabed? So far we really haven't had anything up close, no up close view of the attempts to stop this spill. So we've asked for some help from a man who does have a good idea of this. Bo Brown is an animator who works with industrial companies to help them visualize large scale projects. There's some really interesting work in the oil industry. Here's a look at Bo's website right here. And you can see he does lots of work in the oil industry. So we've asked him to make some video graphics for us to help us better understand what is happening with this leak. And Bo joins us now from his home in Tulsa, Oklahoma, via broadband. Bo, thank you so much for being here. Let's go thank you very much. Let's go straight to that first animation we've got because this shows the blowout preventers working normally. And you've given us a really nice look here, skimming across the surface at the rig that's now sunk to the bottom. Down we go, down the pipe to the little box at the bottom, which is the blowout preventer. What's happening here, Bo, when it's working properly? Well, it, it's what it's supposed to do if there was a catastrophic or a blowout is um, it's stacked with rams. You know, the whole stack is created of ram preventers. Yeah, we can and see them there closing. Because, go ahead. We can see them there closing. It's like they chomp down on the pipe, right? Right. There, it's just like rams butting heads. The, the two that I'm showing are uh, pipe rams and shear rams, which the shear rams would be the you know, oh my God, they click the, you know, they can't get control of the well. Okay, Bo, jump, a, jump ahead here, because the animation's moved already to the shear ram okay. failure. What are we seeing Those, here? Right, one of the, I, one of the, you know, ideas of possible reason why it failed was the pipe rams didn't center the pipe before the shear rams actually sliced the pipe. And another one was the tool joint um, being in line with the shear rams, it's not going to cut through. Uh, the tool joint, yeah. which makes up the whole yeah. string of pipe. And we just saw those there. Now tell me more again about these shear rams. I mean, how big are they? What are they? I mean, they just look like these giant scissors that are supposed to clamp down and stop that leak, right? Right. It's, it's, it's hardened forged steel. I mean, they're, they're like ninja swords backed by 15,000 pounds of pressure. And, you know, you would think they would cut through anything. That's what's kind of you know why didn't they work but one of the reasons why if the, if the if the pipe wasn't centered you think of cutting with scissors on a wire if you hit it straight on it's going to slice right through but if the pipe wasn't centered or tilted um you know it's just like scissors you're not going to have much luck it is very um, unusual right very disturbing that this system and all of the backups in this system failed right Oh, uh, it's shocking. I mean, it, I was just reading some of it this morning. I mean, there are at least six redundant separate emergency systems that can close that any one of those valves on that blowout preventer. I mean, you look at it like driving a car and, you know, you're losing your steering wheel and you would have six other options to drive that car. And in this case, all of them would fail. Yeah, it, well, it just doesn't well, make any sense. Okay, let's go on to the next animation, uh, Bo, because this is great stuff. This is the coffer dam, or what people are calling the dome. Tell us what we're seeing here. Okay, you're, you've probably seen some animations like this before. They're lowering these these domes over the, the riser pipe. They're not putting it over the, the blowout preventer. The blowout preventer is intact and not leaking. So they're supposed uh, um, to, supposed to go know, down over the riser well, pipes, but this didn't work right because crystals formed in it. So now let's, right. go, let's go on to the next one, which is BP's possibly next plan. This is not an exact rendition of what's called the junk shot, but it's your best clue of what it is. What are we seeing here? Um, you know, they, they, I, I learned about this yesterday, but they're possibly shooting, you know, chopped up golf balls and tires and things like that to attempt to clog the uh, the blowout preventer, um, you know, shutting off the oil. And that's kind of my artistic 
rendition of what's going on, but I really don't know. I, I made some calls, but now that I'm thinking about it, they probably would have to stab it with some type of uh, pipe to get inside to keep it stable and then inject it with junk. But it's essentially, I mean, putting garbage down in there to plug it up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a first for me. Wow. Um, okay, let, let's look at the final animation you've done for us because this is another possibility for BP if, if all of this fails. One of the things they're talking about is lowering another blowout protector right down on top of the other one. How would this work? That's right. You know, if they had a working blowout protector, they'd, they'd have to, you know, remove the riser pipe, you know, cut it off somehow. But um, lowering an open one, a BOP that's open, none of the rams are closed on top and letting the oil flow through the top of that one and then closing the blind rams you know i would probably close all of them but uh you know then they can gain control as well bo if all of this fails again i mean what are the options that are left that's what those uh super smart guys that are doing this and coming up with these ideas are working on i have no idea but you know my experience in the oil field is these guys are smart and they are this is nasa stuff we're talking a mile down deep in the ocean and uh i mean this is space age stuff yeah, these guys high, will they'll high, figure something out high level is it possible they'll go back to the coffer dams or the domes, which as BP described it like, you know, setting a four-story high building down on the head of a pin. Is it possible they can go back to that, modify it somehow, and try to get those crystals to stop forming? Yeah, I, I want to rule it out. I don't think they've given up on that. You know, they can add a heating element, you know, heat the, 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 the dome, or, uh, in, you know, I heard another one was uh, use methanol to, that'll dissolve those hydrates. Um, I don't think they've given up on that at all. Uh, I think that's still a, a big possibility. And do you think, Bo, that everything that's happened here is going to lead to a lot of changes in the technology in the, in the industry, or is it too soon to tell? You know, safety and just being around these guys and knowing there's so many redundant, like we're talking about that, that blowout preventer, even when you're out there, you know, if they just know what they're doing. I mean, these guys are so experienced and you're, you know, your main focus when you're out there is safety. And it's not a joking matter at all. I always feel safe when I'm out on those rigs. I don't, I don't know what else they're gonna do. This thing should have worked. Yeah. Fail safe. Should have worked <laughs> and um, there are gonna be hearings in Washington starting tomorrow to figure out possibly why they didn't. Lots to find out here. Bo, you've really helped us visualize it and I think understand what's going on down there with all of the business here, all of the technology. Bo Brown, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. And stay with us here on World Business Today. We're gonna be back with a look at the headlines.